Welcome to this video. We are going to deal with the, the dates. So, in Excel, dates also playing a crucial role whenever we are dealing with some financial transactions or salary calculation, wages calculation. Uh, majority of the places will be using the date functions, right? So, here if you want to extract the date, today's date, just you can type equal to today. Today, you see. The function is display here the session you just right click it is giving the syntax there is no argument simply click enter it is giving date as a 13 right what is the next one it is a today in case if you want to see the today the today with the timestamp so this is the way we can get the information like this with the help of the date and time. Now we are moving to the next function. Here is here is one. Um, we are going to practice this. Here the dates are given. The syntax also given. You can do this. So how we can do this? Equal today and right click and enter. You see, we are getting this. And same way, we are the date also can be added with year two. What is the year two? Year two we have given so one ten days. So what is the today's date? I want to see one hundred and tenth day from today. So that can be given. See equal. You can use today, today, and plus. What is the date you want to add? One ten directly. You can give one ten. Otherwise, you can make use of this reference. See. If you are calculating from today's date, one tenth day, that is one one twenty one, okay. And today, this one is a written today's date number. What is the today's date number? Today date number is a thirteen. So what is the syntax? The day of equal symbol. The day of today. Today open and close bracket. One more bracket. And enter. So, what is the date today? 13. That is what it is showing. The next one is we can return the month. What is the present month? Ninth month. So, how can we get it? Month open bracket. Inside that you can put today. Close open and close bracket. You see, that's the ninth month. The same way equal to year within this today. Open and close and one more close. So, this is the year. So, this is the way we can extract. So today function like this, it will be working. The next one we are going to calculate the day, the week number. So what is the week number? First week of January is a day a week one. The second week of 8th to the 14th day of January becomes second week. Like that we can count the number of weeks in a particular year. In this 2020, there are 53 weeks, right? So if it is that, then what is the present weekday that we can count, no? So that is what we are going to do. So that is nothing but week number. See, the week number is there. Right click this. And the serial number is the date. What is the date today? I am going to give some date. For example, today. OK. 38th week. So today, date is 38th week of 2020. Okay, that is what it is saying. So, if it is 27, 28th on 7th month, we can see this equal to week num, double click this, this is the date and comma. What is this showing? In some countries, the Sunday is the starting day of a week. In some countries, Monday will be the starting day of the week so it depends upon the country and their culture calendar maintenance we can give we can count the the week number okay in india we are using sunday as a first day starting from sunday saturday to last one so in that case monday is second one if uh, so if it is that so what is the present the week number that also we can use i am giving one here and close this so this is the 30 so if this is the day and that is comes on 30th week week number okay so that is what it is saying 
and here we are coming to next one this one is uh, some day is given the 30th week from january you can do this one the sunday uh, count also given sunday as one saturday as seven so here also some examples are given we can do this equal to week number okay week number and the serial number is the day and comma one by default also we are using this one so this is the way once we are com calculating the same formula can be done the 30th last day of uh, this year obviously that's the last week right so 53 weeks it is saying that 53rd week so that is how it is working the syntax is given here next we are going to one more exercise using the network days so what is the network days if you want to calculate the number of whole working days between two consecutive dates right from may 1st to june 30th how many weeks how many working days excluding weekends and uh, any specific declared holidays so remaining days are the whole working days no like that we are going to calculate we are mentioning that working days by the time we have to exclude a holiday declared holidays as well as weekend so that declared holidays we are taking these as a declared holidays okay so if you are calculating number of days we have to exclude this for example this is one day and this is another day this is starting day this is ending day now we are going to calculate this so how we can do this equal to network days net work days if it is international culture we have to use network days dot intl here we are going to use network days double click this the start day end day this is a start day comma this is a end day comma these are the declared holidays so select the complete cell and click enter how many days only one working day what is the date given first january to second january first january to second january how many days two days but one one is declared as holiday so the working day is only one you got it the same way here also some examples are given the same way and uh, these are the declared holidays this explanation we are specifically we have to see this by using these dates only we have calculated this one okay so this is network days we can calculate network days in case if you are giving some assignment to students in 100 days you have to publish one paper in scope journal or abc category journals so by the time from today onwards 100 working days in the sense we can put today as the starting day and some other day some other ending day in between how many days we can calculate we can fix some target okay now we are moving to the next one work days this is another one so what is the use of this work day in the sense this helps us to find out the date of completion of the work what we are discussing that cutoff date under the day you should publish the paper that is a task this is a project you should complete within the three months so that is how we can do that so number of working days can be calculated so this is the target dates and these are the declared holidays now we can see this for example if you are taking some date we can convert into text also you see equal to i am typing text in the text value value is the day i am giving this and comma this should be written dd dd see what is the day that one if you are looking at the 1 1 2020 that lies on wednesday january 1st was wednesday that is what it is saying okay this is already done this so next one once if you are calculating that formula can be dragged down so these dates lies on this day okay these dates so that is how we can use this so this is the syntax now we are moving to the next sheet weekday and the basic functions I'm selecting basic functions. This is the basic functions. Here, I am preparing some budget. Example, I have given some books, this much expenditure, the petrol cost, this much, the rent is this one, food. So, these are some expenditure. We are going to calculate this sum value. How we can calculate sum value? Equal to sum of and select hold shift key and upward arrow. I am selecting this, release it and enter. The total is calculated okay i am 
pressing the space bar. Okay. Okay, I'm deleting this. Once again, you see, instead of selecting this, I can keep the mouse pointer there. Alt and equal. It is giving the sum value. This is shortcut key. Okay. And here, we have to calculate the random values. So, put equal symbol and sum open bracket. So, what is the phone? This is the phone. Hold the control key and electricity bill. This is the electricity bill. What is the next one? This is the petrol bill. The petrol bill is here. So, if it is randomly present in the data, we cannot use the continuous selection. By the time, hold the control key, use the mouse pointer, click the particular cells. Now, release it and click enter. See, it has been copied. So, this is the way we can do this. Right? Here, control alt equal symbol will not work. Right. Here, you see, this is the addition value. This is the 10,910. That should be common here. That should be copied here. Equal symbol and select this cell and click enter. That's all. Here is a subtraction. What is this? This one. And keep the cursor point here. Equal symbol. And select that. Enter. Now, both the things come over here. Equal. And select this minus this one. If it is subtraction, the remaining is this one. Right? So, this is the way addition subtraction we can do. And here marks are given. Here, we have to find out the sum value. We know alt equal to. Alt equal to. That's it. Simple. And equal to average. A, B, E, R. See, that has come in the list. Select that. And select complete range. And click enter. Average also calculated. Simple. And here is the autofill. These two cells you select. And hold the mouse pointer at that bottom. You drag and release. It will be calculated. It will be simply the filling the value. Here, the 1 and 7 is not sequence. Isn't it? Some random number has given. You select both the numbers. You drag. Sorry. Control Z. You hold the pointer and drag till you want. You see? Here, what is the distance? What is the gap between these two numbers? Same gap is maintained. You take any two numbers, the same distance, same gap is maintained. So, that is the way. We can do this. In case of even numbers, you see, you select even numbers also will be filling up. So, in uh, any place in uh, Excel, the filling and the flash filling are very, very easy tool to use in various applications. Various applications. You have to hold the mouse pointer exactly that point. Okay. So, that is the way we can do this. Here, see, even these numbers, these numbers, I am deleting this. You see, these numbers Q1, Q2. Even Q1, Q2 also, if you are drawing like this, it will be same sequence, will be pattern selections also will be possible. If you are deleting, I am deleting this, I show you. It's already examples shown in another class. I am clear. Okay. So, here is the January months are here months are here you just select the first one january and drag it automatically the pattern will be displayed because the january february is a sequence wherever you go the same sequence so in excel also it is coming coming with the inbuilt sequence number the same way if you are starting with the january you will be getting that same way monday tuesday also is a sequence you will be getting the sequence like okay right so whenever you are selecting Whenever you are selecting, I am giving one more time, see. The bottom side, you will be getting small icon box. You click, click it. In table, we can see the Monday getting, see here, the Monday getting light red done color. No, I don't want the Monday red color. I want to yellow color. You select this, not Monday. I want to go with the Sunday. You select this Sunday. Sunday is here and say OK. Now see the Sunday becomes yellow color. Clear? Like that, Saturday also already selected. So you can show in a different way the table. I am deleting this. Sorry. I am deleting the contents. Now see this is the date. The date also autofill will be using. Okay. In some places, we will be asking the students to fill the data 
but they will be filling they will be filling somebody capital letter somebody small letters or somebody caps and small mixing so how to prevent that here i am going to make use all the uh, the given data as a upper case so put equal upper upper a double click this is the text i click enter see this name completely becomes capital letter you double click it we are getting into capital letter the same way if you want to convert to lower case equal to lower double click this and select the text and click enter this you can download sorry you can drag it down same way the word cap word cap in the sense only first character of each word will be capital letter so that is a proper proper and select this click enter you see the first character of each character each word is capital so this is the way what the way you want to present you can do this okay uniformity also will be there you can maintain the good database so this is one next we are moving to fill option in this fill option already we have seen this the one two how we are filling always 10 numbers how we are filling all this thing we already seen this right and we also we can fill and here is a some number some names are there uh, uh, here the auto fill in the sense by giving one name just to click control e we are getting the second name of this this also already we have seen this right here i am typing name ayushi and click enter it is giving like this so how we are able to get this if you are dragging you can see more list so where it is coming from where it is coming from you see here i am typing january if i am dragging this i will be getting january february but here if i am typing this first character first letter first word a name aishi and drag it I am getting where it is coming from. It is coming from some inbuilt. I already introduced the list to Excel system. So that is why if I am typing this name, I will be able to get the complete the list what I taught to the Excel. Okay. So that list is showing in the next sheet. See, this is a sheet. In the sheet, there are some names. How many names are there? You can notice that 535 names are there. All the 535 names already introduced to the Excel. So how we can introduce? You have to select the complete cell. After selecting, you go to the file option. Here it's a file option. Select the file option. Then go to options in the bottom. And in this, we are getting one dialog box. In the dialog box, you can move here and there. In this, you can see advanced. Select the advanced and browse down you can notice edit custom list you see if you are coming down you can see edit custom list select this here it is showing some address that address is nothing but where the list i already selected that references represented here you just import that list will be imported to the excel now say ok and say ok and close it now it is ready now you type that first name anyway got it because this list is coming from this one okay so one more time you see here i'm typing red the green sorry red green yellow yellow white kalyan Delhi. so this is the list this list i want to introduce to the excel select the list first go to file and click the option and go to advance browse down you see edit custom list 
that list address is this you see the p third see p2 p12 no p22 p7 it is showing here just click import and say ok and once again ok that's it now see you type red drag it we are getting the list so this is the way we can do this first we have to introduce the list then we can ask the excel to give the list okay i hope this video is very helpful for you thank you for watching